Hiya, I'm Jasper, and welcome to your video review for Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Spoiler alert! This is a spoiler review, because if I tried to give you a spoiler-free review, you'll learn nothing, because how, how have you gone through life and not known anything about Episode 7? So really, this is just kind of my thoughts on it. There's not going to be a whole lot, because I feel like this can be summarized pretty easily. So, it's a movie starring Adam Driver, Harrison Ford, and John Boyega, whatever the chick's name is, who plays Ray, and yeah, yeah, that's kind of, uh, I guess, Chewie is in this. Anywho, point being that this is essentially Star Wars Episode Four, but with better graphics. Like... They, they hit all of the same story beats. <laughs> um, so, you know, they have the serious character on a desert planet who finds a thing, and then they are good at a thing, and then they do the thing, and they meet an older person who can guide them with stuff, and just... <laughs> then there's the star killer base, which, you know, sucks up star juice to be able to take out multiple planets at one time. And so they have to find the one weakness that allow the shield to collapse so that they can take out the thing and have it explode from the inside. It's just... Yep. <laughs> oh, and then also they have to go into the thing in order to turn off the shield so that they can get to the thing to explode the shield to make the thing happen. And then, oh, the mysterious older mentor dies at the end in order to, you know, have more of our character do the thing. Like, I, it's just, it's episode four. It's episode four, but with better graphics. And you know what? I'm not mad about that. This is actually my favorite Star Wars movie. <laughs> because it's episode four, but with better graphics. Don't get me wrong, I know that for the time, episode four was fantastic. With its, you know, pushing of the envelope for the technology that they had available. Episode seven just had better technology available. And I enjoyed it. A couple of the differences, because surprisingly there are a couple differences. I know I keep saying that, but there are a couple. So... Uh, I do like, right in the beginning, when John Boyega's character, Finn, uh, like, when he's like, come on, we gotta go, and they're, like, running through the Jakku village, and she's like, St I can run, like, stop holding my hand. I know that some people might interpret that as, like, oh, girl power moment, like, oh, you, you can't be holding her hand, because she's amazing, and people can bitch all they want about Rey, I don't care, I, I like her, <laughs> I like the, the, I like seeing superpowered characters, so sue me, um, <laughs> but... I really appreciated that she was like, no, I can run. You don't need to hold my hand. Because every fucking time I see that in movies where they're like running hand in hand, I can tell you, it is, it, it is less convenient and less naturally fluid than just running without holding your hand. Now, if you're doing it with somebody that you like and you're having a fun time, it's a fun time. But if you're running for your lives from pew pew things hitting the ground, you don't need to be holding hands because you have a significant height difference between the two of you and a significant gait difference, so you will not run faster. Either of you. Neither of you will run faster if you're holding hands, okay? Stop it, movies. Stop it. And I'm glad this one, for whatever the reason was, was like, I, I don't need you to hold my hand. Like, we can just run. Yes. Thank you. Um, I also appreciated that they sidelined R2, because I know everybody fucking loves R2-D2, but... I don't care about him. I think he's way, way overhyped. Fuck that guy. But I also am so glad about no C-3PO in this, basically, because I fucking hate C-3PO so much, so much. C-3PO is my least favorite of any character in the entire franchise, bar none. Ugh. Anywho, also, also, they definitely shot this, and the actors acted it in such a way that Poe and Finn were definitely going to be a thing. But, spoiler alerts for episode 8 and 9, but fucking Disney wanted to be able to release this movie in China, so they were like, nope, that's not the thing in episode 8 or 9, which was a terrible mistake. Because those two had way more chemistry than anybody else they were trying to pair them up with. I'm just saying. So, yeah. I enjoyed this movie uh, because of the graphics, uh, the, you know, the storyline was whatever, the, you know, Harrison Ford wanting to get out of the Star Wars universe was whatever. 
Uh, I liked Kylo Ren's mask, or as they called it in this episode, a helmet. Um, <laughs> I liked that. I thought it was intimidating. And like the when he held the blaster bolt with the Force, like that's just badass. You've never seen that before in the Star Wars movie. I don't know about the TV shows because I don't fucking watch the animated TV shows. I don't care if you call them canon. Not going to watch them. Never going to watch them. <laughs> don't ask me to do it in the comments because I'm not going to fucking do it, okay? Never going to watch those animated TV shows. Not going to happen. Point is, in the live action movies, and at this point from all of the live action TV shows outside of Ahsoka, because I only watched the first two episodes, not going to finish that show either. Um, <laughs> but you've never seen a force holder or a force wielder, I guess, stop a blaster bolt in midair up until episode 7. There were some other cool things that you saw with, like, Yoda in episode 2 and 3 where he, like, absorbed the lightning bolt, but you never actually saw him, like, pause a blaster bolt with, like, without even effort. That was just, like, an afterthought for him as he was leaving, just like, ah, okay, let me just release that blaster bolt. Then, like, people were jumping out. So, yeah, that was awesome. So there were some cool moments in here. Also, I like BB-8 as a droid. He was, uh, like, way, way better than R2-D2 and C-3PO. So... Yeah, um, <laughs> you know, graphics were fine. I like Doomhog Gleason's character. I think he was uh, lovably over the top in his, you know, maniacal evilness. So that was fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, this movie was uh, ridiculous. And it's just episode four. It's just episode four. So uh, if you liked episode four and want better graphics, give this movie a shot. <laughs> uh, yep, that's all I have for this one. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.